hajasiki atuja fanya yule mchango kwa hivyo heshima yote kwa waheshimiwa mzee apostle wa kanisa hili ndeni ya roho mafuta pole afrika jina ambalo lilipeana na Mwenyezi Mungu mwenyewe ni furaha kufika hapa kanisa lenyewe liko na historia ya ajabu ilikuwa katika mstari wa mbele kupigania uhuru wetu na historia imeona hata mama moja hapa ambaye alikuwa amefungwa jela Mombasa I mean Uganda Sumemwona huyo mama hata yeye she is be recognized mashua governor na wengine as a national hero huyo mama kwa hapa naona bado anabeba pembe fulani ametumpigia makofi <laughs> thank you because it is right and proper kufanya hayo kuna kimombo luka lucas catch anapatiwa hiyo heshima posthumously tukiwa tukijua kwamba ameenda kuwa pamoja na Mungu muumba wake kwa hivyo ni furaha tele jambo la kihistoria umati huu ambao umekusanyika hapa leo ni waajabu na ni Mungu peke yake anaweza kukusanya watu namna hii sio binadamu kwa hivyo tumshangilie Mwenyezi Mungu mwenyewe na sababu ambayo inatuleta hapa New Jerusalem eh hey, kwa Kenya wenzangu yaani Jerusalem mpya kwa Kenya ambao kama kioni amekuja hapa leo amefurahi amefika New Jerusalem Mwanze kujiandaa ukisoma Biblia utaona kwamba there was the first and second temple ya Jerusalem. Ukiona ile na Solomon mfalme Sulemani kiangalia from afar tumeangalia tukaona hiyo this is a temple. Na heshima kwa Mwenyezi Mungu pengine ndugu ambaye ameanzisha e, mpangilio wa strategic strategic plan 10 years i think kusanya gavana kapachi kachapine <laughs> eh very good name kusanya male professionals what kazo tayari umefanya vizuri kuleta miundo msingi maji and i want to recommend very quickly uh usistabike sana na stima tafuta watu ambao wana ujuzi haraka sana waweke sola hapa sola ambayo itatoa maji kwa vizima maji hapa mahali apapasi kuwa mahali pangiza kama tumekuja leo Atua ya pili mwaka ujao Mungu akitujalia ningetaka turudi ningetaka turudi basi tukirudi gavana na kusii tupate pate mahali pame ehe pamewaka aina yote ya kimaendeleo na sana sana kuwe na umeme it is possible it is not even very difficult these days na hapa kuna jua kali hapa ni kama sekuru tu jua yenyewe hapa you don't have to struggle kwa hivyo ni furaha tele nataka nimshukuru ndugu yangu Eugene Amala ambaye aliweka kila juhudi kuhakikisha kwamba kanisa hili linastajaliwa register when he had the opportunity to do so and so tumeshangaa pokot west pokot ni nyumbani mimi watu wa West Pokot watu wanaongea juu ya madini uko na dini yangu uko na dini yangu eh kama ni mambo ya kulizana madini nyinyi muko na dini yangu nitaambiane nitaeleza kwamba nafurahi kuona mama lotodo 
mzee lotodo alipopumzika tulikuwa naye kwa serikali ya mzee moyo wakati ule strong pastor ambaye alikuwa haogopi nadhani huyo pengine alikuwa uko wa Lucas Cage na pia tukawa na wengine mimi wakati tuliunga serikali ya mseto na kibaki nilipatiwa nafasi mbili za waziri na waziri mmoja nikampatia ndugu yangu huyu ambaye mnamjua Shampo Gisho si ni wenu huyu basi mimi nawadai and I've had Pogisho call me his party leader. <laughs> I think we are back to factory setting as Kenyans. <laughs> Kila mtu anarudi mahali alitokea. <laughs> mahali kulikozania hapa ukaona because my brother Sam Pogisho is still the leader of my party kama mwenyekiti wa kitaifa. Pengine tungekuwa tumepiga hatua kubwa zaidi. Lakini nafurahi kumuona kumuona mbunge wenu hapa my friend eh, eh, Moroto Moroto amesoma sana. Ninyi mjua anapata PhD. Huyu Moroto amesoma sana. Na vile amekuwa bishop, Mheshimiwa Moroto, wewe well ndani. <laughs> you know people used to think they used to equate Moroto with uh, Goroko. Unakumbuka hiyo? Eh, hey, ametoka huko now you have seen the example of this church, this congregation kwamba kutakuwa amani kwa sababu ya dini hili in West Pokot in Samburu in Turkana in East Pokot area hili zone zima hii tukiona msimamo na tena Lucas mwenyewe mwanzilishi alikuwa anapenda wimbo hapa tumeona wimbo wa ajabu wimbaji watoto wa ajabu lakini msifadhaike kwa sababu ya watu wanasema mmezaana zaidi bado amjafikia <laughs> lakini tukizaa watoto pia lazima tuwapangilie and i want now to conclude lazima wapate elimu bora wakati mmoja nilikuwa waziri wa elimu na nakumbuka kwamba even up to the university kulikuwa na higher education loans board sasa hakuna Kenya anayejua ukihitimu uki wa watoto watoke primary secondary ambao tulisema na kibaki free and compulsory wakifika chuo kikuu hawana namna ya kusoma wahitimu kama kina moroto kwa hivyo hapa kuna changamoto kubwa vile vile wakimaliza hakuna kazi hakuna kazi Wawekezaji wanaleta mali yao badala ya kuweka Kenya hii kwa sababu wanaona vijana wakisoma sana na wakijua mambo ya kompyuta na wakiitwa kama vijana jensi kwa sababu wanaelewa sana mambo haya wanauawa wanachukuliwa kiholela kinyume cha sheria na kutoweka dunia nzima imeshtuka Mheshimiwa Moroto alisema hapa ingawaje sikufuata kipokotu vizuri. Alisema aliingia kule kwa bunge wakakula mchele. Alikula chakula hili. Hao watoto bado wako. Na watoto wengi wako hapa. If you look at it without factories, without rural industrialization, kuweka mitambo ya kutengeneza bidhaa mashinani, tutakuwa tunaelimisha watoto na hawana namna ya kujilisha hata kusaidia wazazi wao. Kwa hivyo ni wakati tuulizane sasa hivi. Nyinyi wabunge mko hapa hatuna wahasama. Apostle mkubwa alisema hapa tukiongea tukijaribu hata kukosoana ni kwa roho safi. Roho safi. Kwa roho safi nchi ya Kenya haiendi vizuri. Haiendi kabisa vizuri. By now tungekuwa tumetoa barabara ya kutoka Kitale, Makutano, Lodwa, Nadpal kulinganisha ili kufanya competition and ndugu zetu wa Uganda ambao bidhaa nyingi kutoka Mombasa zinapelekwa kupitia Uganda. Nemle kuelekea Juba 
Tungekuwa tumeunganisha na mimi kwa upande wangu niliweka kila juhudi kuleta amani hapa kwa nchi jirani ya South Sudan. Vile vile tukasaidia wenzetu wa Somalia na wengine hata wa Burundi kule na kwingineko. Kwa hivyo kuna kazi muhimu ya kufanya tusidanganyane. Kuna changamoto kubwa ikiwa serikali ime to finance act 2024 na la kuongeza ushuru ushuru endelee vijana jinsi walikuja wanakumbuka yujini tulikuwa kusema zakayo amekatalia kwa mti na mti utakatwa vijana walikata branches matawi wakakata matawi mpaka ruto akasema ah kotelea mbali even ni sheria yenyewe mimi naona hivi eh Naona hivi safari hii wa Kenya wataibuka wote. Kwanza huu mchezo kusema uongeze badala ya moroto amalize 5 years arudi aulize kura. Nataka ongeze hivi miaka saba kutoka MCA kutoka seneta mpaka gavana eh ati badala ya miaka mitano miaka saba wa Kenya anauliza jameni aposo ombea Kenya ili Mungu awaelekeze roho zao. Wa Kenya wataki hiyo upuzi niko kanisani. Upuzi. Hata wakisema uongeze hata siku moja kwa serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Hawatakubali. Vile vile mkileta hiyo mambo tena kodi. It is not it is wa Kenya wameumia mkenya yote ambaye uko na mshahara analipwa anachukua whatever a payslip. Analipa utake usitake kitu inaitwa housing levy ushuru ushuru kila mahali inji ni nchi ya ushuru naona safari hii za kayo asposhuka naona mtu utangolewa kutoka na mizizi yake yani mti na mizizi itangolewa na wakenya lakini tunataka amani tumtakieni amani kila mmoja wetu na sio watu wa uoga uoga ufai kwa hivyo mimi nataka nikome hapo kwa kuhimiza wenzangu wa West Pokot muwe wakakamavu ninyi ni mashujaa umeelimisha watoto na tumekubaliana Mungu atujalie tutarudi mwaka ujao tuone vile mmepiga this this soup valley is the place for the future of this country na kuna madini mingi natural wealth gavana natural wealth you know my brother senator uh, murgo umetoka mbali sana but you, you, you sang in deep baritone na naimba kabisa eh kizuri tuwe watu kwa kueleza watu wetu ukweli bila uoga and this is a time mimi naona itarudi west pokot nilikuwa nikitarajia nisimame makutano leo na kusalimia watu wa makutano kina baza da loya tum kule maana msichana wake kuna watu tumefanya kazi na wao miaka yote hiyo na ifika wakati tusalimishe tuokoe inchi yetu bila uoga kwa hivyo nawashukuru ni sana naomba sasa hatua ya pili iendelee wangapi wamefurahi kutuona zile kwaya 57 57 Mimi sijaona kwaya namna hiyo Kenya hii kama kioni. Hebu tuwashangilie watoto tena. Nikirudi mwaka ujao Mungu anijalie. Ile nimebeba kidogo ni ya kusaidia kuleta tu a little thing about that Z. Nyumba ya Z hii tuchange kwa uka, kwa utar, I mean, kwa karimu mkubwa. Lakini taenda nifikirie Hizo kwaya 57 naweza kuwatumia nini gavana I want to do something I'm feeling those children were amazing wengine wachanga and they can't miss the rhythm <laughs> yule alikuwa na shida ni mimi nikifuatiliwa na waititu to catch up with the rhythm so may god continue to prosper you and prosper the work of his hands 
and may this new Jerusalem shine out to the whole of the African continent. Iwe mwangaza Afrika nzima mahala ambapo pataleta manufaa ya ajabu ajabu. Asante sana.